Welcome to Lessons in RxJS. My name is Nick Langhammer, and I'm a senior enterprise software engineer at Brebuck. Today, we're going to talk about the RxJS operator, TAP. TAP is a utility operator that returns an observable identical to the source. Unlike other operators like MAP that are meant to transform data, TAP is simply an observer of the stream. Think of the TAP operator like a biologist using a camera to observe fish or data passing a certain point in a stream. The biologist can't manipulate the behavior of the fish, but can collect data from observing their behavior. Now that we have the dictionary definition, what is this operator good for? You can use the operator to run side effects without changing the shape of the data flowing through the pipe. These side effects can be applied anywhere in the pipe. This allows you to do things like make a call to a service method without changing the shape of the rest of the data stream. Another use case is logging the data coming down the pipe. This can be useful for visualizing the data at specific points in the pipeline or for performing other general debugging within the observable stream. This and more is possible with the TAP operator. Let's unpack its potential with a real world example of TAP in NGRX effects. We'll create an effect that listens to an action in order to log a user in then use tap to set the token. First, import tap from RxJS. Then within the effect, we pipe the response from the user service login method. The final action within the stream needs the user from the response, but it needs to come after the token is set. By using tap, we are able to share the data from the stream and set the token without changing it. This allows the user logged in action to dispatch with the user's data. Another example, and one of the more popular use cases, is using TAP to debug a data stream. Let's take a look at a custom validator on a form control with a service call to make sure the email is not taken. Use TAP in the stream to check the result of whether the email is taken. This can also be used to help you verify the validator is indeed being called when it should. A simple yet powerful debugging tool when dealing with observables. Another important yet overlooked feature of the tap operator is the ability to tap into all three channels of the stream. Observables emit data, errors, and notification of completion, and tap has access to all of these. There are two ways you can handle this. You can either pass a partial observer or up to three handlers. This will be an object that has the proper next, error, and complete functions on it. Instead of using the catch error operator to log errors like the code we have here, just access the error channel using tap. You can also use this same method to tap into all three channels at one time. This is possible with any combination of next, error, and complete, since the observer is partial of observer of t. In our humble opinion, this is the true power of the tap operator. One of the common pitfalls many new developers fall into is subscribing to a new observable pipeline within a tap. While this can be useful in certain cases, do not subscribe to an observable pipeline in a tap and expect your current pipeline to be able to use data collected there. Keep in mind, the result of a subscribe triggered in a tap may not be returned by the time the current pipeline is finished. One more thing to be aware of that applies anytime you're working with RxJS pipeline. If you are positive you have data and your tap is not presenting any, make sure you haven't forgotten to subscribe to your pipeline. I trust this provides some insight into accessing data at specific points in your observable stream. Please make sure to check out some of our other lessons in RxJS. Until next time, thanks for watching.